Gentlemen, you've requested my expertise as a game dev meme consultant. I've honored that request and found incredible data for all of you video game developers in the extraction game genre. As you're all well aware from the officially dead game Cycle Frontier, that skill-based matchmaking and gear-based matchmaking is in fact a meme, particularly in lower population games, and in particular, the extraction genre. Cycle Frontier and its developers Jaeger tested and trialed many different iterations to no avail. Most of the mid-tier players and high-end had empty lobbies and boring ass lobbies. And the low end, well, they never moved up or down, and they just played with each other whilst being hard stuck in the early game. This proved to be a waste of time developing a game with stratification of gear in PvP. Because people with no gear would play others with no gear, and people with high-end gear would verse others with high-end gear. Begging the question, if we segregate people based on gear in the game, what's the point of gear for PvP? And what's the point of balancing? Exactly, there is none. If you're from a smaller population region, like OCE, it's even more pointless now because, well, you're more likely to never see another human being in the game. Even if you've got 500 concurrent players in your region, those players are now split between 6 map queues, 37 different skill-based matchmaking queues, and now 64 different tiers of gear-based matchmaking. Only games like Fortnite with a million concurrent players can do skill-based matchmaking, or if it was an extraction game, gear-based matchmaking. But not many games command that many players in their community. This isn't Fortnite, gentlemen. This is Dark and Darker. Come on! Niyama! Niyama! Actions speak louder than words. So here are my findings after playing on a weekend at peak times. This is with a mix of mid to high end gear. It was empty lobbies after empty lobbies and more empty lobbies after more empty lobbies. There were so many empty lobbies. Hours passed and I had to make the game somewhat entertaining for a live audience watching my case study on the game. He's one, he's one. Watch out, I've got, the, I've got the dungeon to myself. I'm going in, I'm going in. Multiple tangos, multiple cobalt. Yep, going left, going left. I'm around the pole, I'm around the pole. Okay, okay. I'm low on spells. I've been hit. Healing, healing. Yeah, no, going around. I'm back behind the door. Healing. One second. I'm out, I'm out, you're in. It was, in fact, intense as it looked. Low magic missiles. I'm gonna need help here. He's got nothing. We gotta go. Chest, I got this grumpy. Always worth the time. This is entertaining. I haven't got much time. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna go. I'm gone. Exit down here. Even though it's empty lobby. Even though it's empty lobby. Check. Check it for rogues. Check it for rogues. I think that's a rogue here. Three rogues. Four rogues. Five. Six. Quick hit bits. Go. Go. Yeah! That was indeed a close shave. The gear-based matchmaking is in fact in full effect. I haven't had such an intense match before. He thought I was a goner. Thank you very much, Grumpy. I appreciate it. This gear-based matchmaking experiment is really shaping up. It's time to get back out there for more. Open the chest. Purple sword. Got it. Got it. Securing purple sword. Purple, sec purple sword can skill. Uh, go off the middle. Go off the middle. Since this update, I haven't looted this hard before. Initiating peak wizard gameplay.
Sneak Wizard gameplay over. Let's go. I've been hit. I'm healing. I'm healing. You're in, I'm out. Just rotating. Rotating around the ice. One's on me, one's on me. Switching, switching. Banning the attack. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, get my spells back, I'm out. Another close shave. Fortunately, I had the entire map all to myself. Guys, this is getting a bit sweaty. We're running out of time here. We are running out of time. Do you understand? And when you've got a lobby to yourself, completely to yourself and the gold pile, time is of the essence. One last one. We got this. Come on. Come on! Come on! Yeah, I know the extract. We gotta go now. We gotta sit, sit a little team. Ah! Quick! We got him. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh. Fortunately, even under such pressure, we did it. I made it out on time. We made it. With a full sack. Now, this went on for some time until many hours later, I finally found a match with a couple players in it. I got lucky again and had another match after the previous match with a couple more players again. Oh, motherfucker. We're gonna need some of these explosives to work with. I need them back.
The spacing. Demon form so bad. No, 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 no. When used right, it's fucking lethal. Like, when used right, it's lethal. That guy just used it terribly. That's all. I know that sounds toxic, but that, that is actually the reason why. I've been playing Wizard, which has been nerfed due to the spell casting scaling being dropped due to all the attribute stacking in the past. But the recent patch removed all the all attribute stacking from 11 to 3 points now. So, I guess now if you want decent casting speed, you have to sacrifice all your stats for knowledge to just get a half decent casting speed. The yo-yo imbalance is in full effect, but without reverting the changes that fucked the wizard in the ass for solo play. So clearly, because these two guys lost their fight due to terrible plays, nerf the wizard once again. Okay, we had a successful 1v2 against equally geared players. Let's see how I shape up against players who understand the range meta of the game. Ah, yes. Throwing axe spam, crossbows, and bows that shoot faster and give higher damage and more accurately than my projectile spells. Fuck this, man. Yeah, but he can do, 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 me. I've got to go. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, da, 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 oh, and really slow down. Just remember, gentlemen, when I upload this video about your game to YouTube, I can't wait to be gaslit by the entire Dark and Darker community about how OP the wizard actually is. It's a bit of a kink of mine. I read the comments and touch myself at night to them. Now, please don't take this the wrong way, but most people will disagree with my findings in this case study because the majority of players are usually hard stuck on the lower end of gear and skill level. Most people will be actually really happy with gear based matchmaking, which may be the reason why it'll stay in the game. However, what's the point of gear disparity and stratifying the gear? All we're doing is separating people into separate queues. Why not just have a base level balance? All the classes are balanced, all the gear is balanced for PvP, and then the gear is geared towards PvE or some other benefit. Gear is the game, dude. I'm not saying... But that's the thing, gear-based matchmaking doesn't. If you, It, it doesn't make it about gear, because if you think about it, this the, like you're in little brackets where it, the, it's just squeezed in, and, and all you're doing is sim like... And then you argue, what's the point of the game? Well, what's the point of the game right now? Everyone's stratified into three different tiers. And because people don't want to be in empty lobbies in the high end, which is pretty much the case in every region, and definitely in OCE, people are gaming the system as best as they can with platforms like the Wikipedia page with a calculator to get a low gear score to get in low end lobbies just to find players. That gentleman is not a very good system. And in some ways, not friendly to casual players because who wants to play a game with a freaking calculator? This, this ranger comes in with nothing for low tier lobby camps crouches somewhere with a purple longbow that does that damage it, it's being memed this guy over here should have no gear other than his pickaxe right that'll be a rogue going straight for the gold pile oh he's got a blue sword but he's coming with absolutely nothing so nudie rogue blue sword to absolutely destroy someone you know and the crossbow and crossbow so gold farmer another nudie gold farmer the lizard skin to max out armor points you know instead of actually having body armor another lizard to max out armor for the body points uh this guy's actually kind of playing the game with some green gear at least that one there but i mean look it's just nudies it's literally just nudies everywhere nudie rogues nudie rogues nudie rogues nudie rogues all gold farming Here's my issue with the current state of things with like the low gear lobbies and then the high gear lobbies. Most people are on the low to mid tier, right? But then there's the low low and everyone wants to stay in the low gear lobbies. 
it's like a borderline bastard version of High Roller in Dark and Darker. So what it is, with everyone trying to like min max the shittest items to get in the shittest lobbies, it's like a race to the shitter. What has this game turned into? Now as an experiment, I spent one whole afternoon gaming the system as best as I could to get in low-end lobbies. However, I found they were just as sweaty as the high-end lobbies because people were min-maxing as best as they could with green gear. So as a result, the gameplay really hasn't changed and the problems that people bitch about, all it's done is stratified the players more, made grinding for better gear pointless because you get empty lobbies, and made it a gruesome chore to calculate the best gear to actually get lobbies with players. This is, this is how insane it is, right? Look. Although, if I get rid of movement speed filter, we might get some. No, look at that. There's no... Oh, there we go. But for 84, I'm going to have to buy it. It's like the crap tier gear is, is super rare. Like, there's no white or greys. Because everyone's trying to min-max the perfect shite tier. Oh, my... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, cursed, yeah. Now, you may say, the Spud Hunter, well, what's your solution then? Well, as I said, with Cycle Frontier being a perfect case study to study the history of a failed looter shooter, or extraction game, rather, particularly one with gear-based PvP, you just can't really balance something that is fundamentally an unbalanced design, aka gear advantage. So what you do is you skew gear towards PvE advantage and make PvE, aka AI, really hard to fight and more interesting and have more sub bosses and reasons for people to team up together and fight the ultimate dungeon fantasy. Kind of what the lead developer wanted with this game to begin with, which is, you know, a dungeon crawler with your, your mates. And now it's sort of gearing towards, I guess pun intended, a like Counter-Strike ranked ELO super sweat game. That. Nah. I know what's up here. Gentlemen, educate me here. What's the identity of the game? What are we doing here? TLDR, you're just gonna stratify the player base with gear-based matchmaking. People are doing cook builds like this. Like his buddies come in with no gear, but like a blue weapon, spear, and he's range, right? And then he's come in as a fighter with no like low tier gear on the everything else, right? Like the crossbow, that. And then the, he's got really good blues here with all attributes and stuff. So the stuff that counts is like high tier and then everything else to keep his gear score down so he gets in low in lobbies and can just farm people. Like, do you get it? And because super sweats don't want to be in empty lobbies, they will do everything they can to game the system to get into the low end lobbies. For example, for me, I have no care, no care about playing with high end gear now. All I do is just come in with greens and a couple blues and absolutely go ham in high roller. Stomping people with PvP gear like that's better than others isn't very good for the game, you know, gear stomping. But this stratification of players and empty lobbies sucks balls. Another rogue! Oh my god. Another rogue! Ooh. Another rogue. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure being a meme consultant for your game. In conclusion, my findings are, gear-based matchmaking makes the whole gear thing pointless. 
Just remove High Roller at this point and balance base classes and turn it into a battle royale like the early playtests. Death from above. Multiclassing? I don't even have to show footage of it. It ruins class identity. You can't make plays around classes anymore and it turns the game into a circus act. So you go, oh, I'm about to fight a cleric, right? And then the cleric turns around and does this. As, as, let's say I'm a wizard, right? And I'm fighting a cleric and then this happens. Magic missiles. Right? And I'm like, what the fuck? This doesn't make sense. But I've also been using tokens and I've taken tokens from Warlock and I've got Phantom Eyes. And now you're like, yeah, I love, I love multi-classing. Nothing makes sense. That's multi-classing. Good luck, have fun. It's fun now, but it's going to be dog shit. <laughs> so for the short term, it's fun breaking the game. But for the long term, it's a meme. It's a GG no re situation. And good game once it's released live. I apologize for being so blunt, but this actually is a bit silly. <laughs> oh, and the wizard? Nerf it again. Niyama! 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 Nerf it again. Make the base casting speed on Wizard 5% and give him a little Sorry. cock and bull chastity belt cosmetic to go with it. <laughs> Fuck it all, man. These ragdolls are uh, primo tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Like, you're gonna, you're only gonna get people in your games if, uh, if you're, like, wearing greens and blues now, Spud, so... I, I, at that point, it's like, I had to actually calculate everything in order to, like, this right here is, like, just under the threshold of medium. So, essentially, like, finding upgrades won't feel so exciting now. But... Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you for your time, and it's been a pleasure working with you. And most of all, good luck with the next update. I'm very keen for the future of Dark and Darker. Exactly. High end is lonely. Low end is just gold farming and power farming. And like min maxing what you can get in on the thresholds. Terrible.